We just came to be a part of the crowd and and and, and uh, support and observe. Uh, ultimately, I think the workers, the teachers, and the students have to take the lead in this struggle. Uh, a lot of times, we're waiting for us and elected officials to take the lead. I think that the workers out here should take the lead in what's going on. I came to support that and let you know that we're behind whatever is happening here today. We think that what's going on in the city uh, with this superintendent is absolutely incorrect. It is not in in line with what it is that we're trying to do in Newton. I've been as big. I've been as big. So. I want to say you need to keep up what's going on. I heard somebody say that this needs to happen all the time. It does. As long as we are creative, we peaceful, we make our statements known, we, we want to kill the narrative that everybody agrees with what's going on in the city. Everybody don't agree with that. There are hundreds of people out here to say that we don't agree with what's happening in Newark Public Schools. She sends out emails all the time trying to make people believe around the country that everybody is quiet and there's a few, only a few people that are opposed to what's going on in Newark and that's incorrect. Their students, their teachers, their faculty, their parents that oppose to what's happening in Newark Public Schools. And they mean we're making our voices heard today. You need to continue to make your voices heard as creatively as you can until this lady packs up and leaves the city. <laughs> now, she sent the she sent the email out after I spoke at the board that was and I know she's probably having somebody take this one that said that uh she sent an email to all her friends, said, Dear friends, she tried to get them to speak out against the mayor. Call the mayor. Say that you opposed to what he said at the school board, that he threatened violence to me, which is not only a lie, and she's an expert at that, that uh, I threatened to do a violence. I, I, and everybody was there know what I said, and I, and I said it clearly. What she was upset about is I said that maybe we should come down there and, and escort her out of the building. But, uh, I, don't, I don't see any big violent uh, uh, with that at all. And I just want to say that this stuff is not emotional. So uh, and when I say that, I want to say this is not about us being angry at Cammy Anderson. And they want to make it about her and me or make it about her personality. We oppose to what's going on. Whoever's down there doing that is wrong. No matter who they are, where they come from, is wrong. We're not mad at her because she's from New York. We're mad at her because she's wrong. Right? We're not mad at her nationality. We're mad because she's wrong. That's it. We're not, we're not upset about anything else except the fact that she's wrong. That she's supposed to be here helping New York public schools grow, not closing it down. That's what I'm upset about. Why am I upset? Because you got a $70 million budget deficit a new public school that keeps growing because she keeps putting teachers on the EWP list, putting them in a the rubber room, putting administrators on the list, and making the city pay for it. And taxpayers are paying for it. Not just state taxpayers, New York taxpayers are paying for that too. That's why we're upset. We're upset that she keeps renewing schools and it's not working. That the renewed school thing is not working. It has never worked and she's continuing to do it. We're upset because she's saying she's going to turn around schools, which is a code name for closing them down. She's getting money from the state, but we don't see any of the money through the turnaround. That's supposed to be the state working with the schools when you turn around, but that's not happening either. We're upset because she's splitting people's families up. Because she's sending kids to schools that have special needs and the school don't offer special needs programs. We're upset because she's sending English language learners to schools where there's no English language learning program. That's why we're upset. We're not upset at her, and I wish the media figure that out. I wish they figure it out. Because you can open up the paper, and if I have an argument with the council person, it's on the front page, on the second page. Here's a lady with a $70 million deficit that has closed a bunch of schools that have not worked. Not one thing. Not one thing in the press. 
just constantly defending and defending and defending, and so you want to figure out who's protecting her. Why is she being protected? And what's going on that they're trying to make Newark a testing ground for the rest of the country? So, y'all got me roped up, but she needs to go. Backing away from that, that's always going to be my point. She's got to go. She has to go today, not tomorrow, today. She needs to leave. Hands off, Reekway. Hands off, Eastside. Hands off, Elliott Street School. Hands off, Central High School. Hands off, all our schools. Let the people in the community. You want to give us a choice? Our choice is neighborhood schools.